So here we have the Ford Fiesta on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we've got the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And above that, uh, the total miles for this car, which are 16,760. The main area there where you've got the digital readout for the speedometer, you can change information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various different menus from audio, as you can see, to satellite navigation, uh, and eventually back round to where we started. The buttons to do that are these ones over here. On the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the middle, we've got the touchscreen for the car, which includes satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and Facebook page. Uh, also over in the middle here, your audio options for the car. Uh, so in terms of ways to listen to the music, you've got AM, FM and DAB radio, as well as uh, Bluetooth audio. So once you pair your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can also stream your music wirelessly as well. And then in terms of pairing the phone, search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Just follow those instructions on screen. It's very easy to do. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning or the climate control in this car's case. So you can turn up the fan speed from here. You can change the temperature on this dial. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed with these buttons in the middle. And then that button turns the air conditioning on and off again. With the air conditioning on, you can leave it on your own personal setting or press auto and the car will now maintain 18 and a half degrees by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to just by readjusting the fans and you can see that's now turned off. We've got a proper heated front screen as well just there. Below that, a 12 volt charging socket as well as the USB input, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So you can have the car in eco mode. You can turn off the uh, traction control from here. And this one turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That button will turn that system off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.